last week during our meeting with the body sex associates that are taking Mm -hmm. the online body sex experience course, you shared a clip about happiness and what happiness looks like in the body, which was fantastic. And then you talked more about the function of orgasm. So what is the function of orgasm, Carlin? Orgasm is a coping skill. Mm -hmm. It's a way for us to cycle out of stress hormones to pleasure hormones. And really that's the choice. Mm -hmm. We're bags of water with an electric impulse and we can choose cortisol (laughs) or we can say, hold on a minute. I want some dopamine and some endorphins and some oxytocin. So the clip we showed And you can Google it, just um, Google protein carrying endorphin molecule. And it was great because it's on YouTube and they're like, this is what happiness looks like in the body. And it's this little protein carrying the endorphin cell down the nerve. And, you know, it's that simple. And we make it complicated, like, oh, I want to be happy. And what does happiness look like? It's engaging in behavior that causes the release of endorphins in the body. And orgasm Mm -hmm. is the easiest way to do that. Yes. Yes. I just, I love that image. I mean, just looking at the image made me smile and happy. (laughs) And um, adding to it, the function of orgasm. So when we orgasm, we're cycling those positive pleasure hormones in our body. So, you know, that that image of happiness is happening actually in our body. And it's so good to have that visualization. So, Carlin, how how can we cycle that positive? How do we cycle orgasms and energy and make that choice? Touch. Making time for touch. You know, we have this idea that we only touch our bodies or our sex organ when we feel desire, Mm -hmm. right? And we don't do this in any other aspect of our lives, right? We have three meals a day. Mm -hmm. We don't wait till we're hungry and go, oh, what should we do? What should we eat? We schedule, right? Mm -hmm. We schedule daily bathing, right? We schedule seasonal things. It's coming at pleasure and orgasm with that same kind of entitlement and making Mm -hmm. time. And touching, the more we touch, the more we feel. So if you get some oil and you start touching yourself, then you're going to be aroused. Then you're going to get some of those endorphins. Then you're going to feel relaxed. Then you're going to feel like, oh, I'd like to have an orgasm. When you're Mm -hmm. living in a stressful environment like we all are, you're not going to feel that way. Because what is orgasm like? Mm -hmm. Orgasm like safety, lightness, joy, Mm -hmm. easiness, playfulness. And so when we're stressed out, right, we don't feel that way. We don't touch ourselves. And all of a sudden it's a stress cycle. So we break that cycle Mm -hmm. by touching. Yes. And you don't have to wait for a partner. I'm currently unpartnered. I'm living by myself. My self-touch gives me happiness. You know, just just touching my skin, doing the body meditation, Carlin, that you have on SoundCloud, um, just appreciating my body, touching my body, touching my vulva um, makes a huge difference. Really, the biggest influence on our mental health is the relationship we have with our body. And you're right, Laura, we don't have to wait for a lover's touch because if I touch myself, I can get the same release of endorphins Mm -hmm. as what a partner does. So as women, we don't have to be passive. We can be active participants in our pleasure. Mm 